Our Castrol Active champion this week is a remarkable cricketer and a remarkable human being. There's so much to admire about Rahul Dravid, someone who always said yes on a cricket field, someone who was gritty and tough, dare I say, someone who hated being called the wall because he once said, I think I had a few more shots than a wall could have had. Across that period, from about 2001 to 2006, some of the most glorious episodes of Indian batsmanship, most of the matches, big matches that India won, you'd find one name standing at you, just leaping out of the scorecard from there. 180 in Vivius Lakshman's 281 game, but he batted right through the day, the 180 at the Eden Gardens, 233 at Adelaide, 270 at Rawalpindi, 81 and 68. We don't always remember those innings on a track where everybody else was struggling to score runs. This was Kingston in 2006 on, on a tour where India did some wonderful things. But the one innings that truly stands out for me was the 148 at Leeds in 2002 when John Wright told him, if you get 100 today, when you retire, this will be the highest point on your CV. Conditions were not great for batting, you're playing, you're missing. But Rahul Dravid showed what proper gritty test match batsmanship was. And that day, like he did throughout that phase in Indian cricket, he protected that Indian team. Much like Castrol Active's Actibons protect your bike engine, whether running or off. There was always the England connection with Rahul Dravid. Whether it was a fabulous season for Kent, whether it was going and discovering life playing for Scotland, whether it was the 95 on debut, every time England and Rahul Dravid had that association. But if you ask him which is the series you remember most fondly, it is probably a series in which he didn't stand out as a batsman, but it was a series where under his captaincy, India won the series in England. It came after a disastrous World Cup of 2007 and you wondered what that meant to Rahul Dravid, the captain. India got to England without a coach. There was just Chandu Bode looking after the side and Rahul Dravid and that Indian team really flowered. And I thought it gave us an opportunity to remember what an extraordinary role he played in the years between Saurav Ganguly and, uh, and MS Dhoni. There's a bit of Anil Kumle, but those two years of Rahul Dravid were fantastic years for India as uh, well, for, for leadership of the Indian side. When you're talking about Rahul Dravid as captain, you know, he was a very uh, methodical kind of a captain. You know, he's someone who would, uh, who would meditate probably, you know, an hour uh, before the match. So he was looking at, uh, at me as a, as, as a leader of the pack and, you know, he, he knew that uh, English conditions uh, are going to be suited uh, for, for seam bowling and the swing bowling. I had uh, the experience of uh, playing uh, county as well, so you know he was uh, he was very open to to using those kind of experiences and plans, not only with regard to uh, me uh, when I was bowling, but also with regard to uh, Sri Shant and R P Singh, you know who who I was uh, helping around all right throughout that series. To me, the little known things about Rahul Dravid stand out: an outstanding catcher at short leg, but then India needed a slip fielder. An outstanding catcher at slip. How many people remember who's taken more catches than anybody else in Test match cricket? Then going out at number three, but how many times did India run short of opening batsmen? There was Rahul Dravid again going out to open the batting. And I thought that aspect of Rahul Dravid's cricket stood out for me because here was someone who was always very selfless about his role in Indian cricket. And now we are seeing the same generosity of spirit with Rahul Dravid literally nurturing a whole new generation of Indian players. He's not just making them better cricketers, he's making them better people. You look at them and you say, this, this is not the Rahul Dravid kind of person. You look at a Rishabh Pant, you look at a Hardik Pandya, you look at the streaks and you look at the tattoos and you say, no, that's not Rahul Dravid. But they will also tell you of the times he's just taken them aside, had a little conversation with them and said, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to become as you become a better player. How many all-time greats of the game? 10,000 runs in Test Match Cricket, 10,000 runs in One Day International Cricket will say, no, I look after the under-19s. 
I'll take the under 19s through to the to the World Cup, and that is why I think we're seeing the second innings of Rahul Dravid being as valuable to Indian cricket as his first innings. Having protected Indian cricket, he's now protecting a whole new generation of Indian cricket and arming them against the vicissitudes of life, much like Castrol Active Actibons protect your bike engine, whether running or off. Beyond all the numbers and Rahul Dravid constructed these giant monuments for us all to remember, is, is the person that you remember all the little things about who will meet you in the lobby of a hotel and tell you of a book that he's read and ask you if you've read it or someone who just take his children out on an open top bus in London to show them around the city who will, uh, who's, who's chief photographer when his mother's receiving her PhD degree and who's going around taking pictures full of, full of excitement person who missed a test match because, uh, well as, as a as broadcaster of course because he had promised his son that he'd be there at one of the school functions and then I asked him that day, I said when you go to all these PTA meetings, are they, do you suddenly discover that more mothers are around? And then he'll give me that sheepish smile. I've enjoyed knowing Rahul Dravid the person, I've enjoyed watching Rahul Dravid the cricketer and that is why we've enjoyed telling you a few nuggets from his life in this episode of Castrol Active Champions.